what's happening guys now time for episode 27 and to start us off I thought I'd uh, do a little first person drive through the town we're just kind of following one of our residents they're on their way back home and they're actually on their way to the island so we'll see what kind of route they take I'm actually kind of curious here and uh, I thought the theme for um, today's episode what we could do was uh, oh they are gonna take our little interchange cool uh, I thought we could uh, finish up um, a little bit on the uh, industrial sector. I just want to add that bus line back in, maybe make a little couple changes here and there. And then I thought we could do the um, uh, transportation hub on the island. And I got some really cool ideas with that too, especially trying to work the uh, the rail in. And I downloaded uh, some cool bus bench kind of looking things. I want to try and incorporate those into where the, uh, the bus bays are going to be. So that should look pretty neat, I think, overall. This is kind of cool. Nice little commute for this person right here. Alright, so we should be nearing the Ogun is somehow avoided. Oh god, car crash. Well, the the physics aren't perfect in this game, we know that, but that's okay. Pretend that didn't happen. Anyway, nice little nice little area. I wonder what house they live in. I think they live in one of the uh, uh, the apartments down the street, I remember seeing that. Oh, and uh, it's actually cool, you can kind of see, I've got some cabs. I downloaded those for the city as well. Because with the new um, update, now that have, there's tunnels and everything, um, the uh, mod uh, community has access to the vehicle assets, so now you'll see uh, custom vehicles popping up in the uh, Steam Workshop. So the first one I downloaded was just some cabs, just to kind of see uh, what that would look like. But I think it adds a nice little bit of um, realism to the game, you know? Alright, so let's just hop out right here. These guys are going home anyway. I think they're almost there. I think one of these buildings is theirs. But we wanted to do some work anyhow. Oop, I wanted to press tab, not escape, but... Oval? So yeah, what I was thinking we could do is I've got that custom train station mod, um, asset and I think we could probably use that in this little quadrant right here and then we'll kind of bring some rail lines in just from different parts of the city and what we'll do is we'll make one of them um, an exterior um, connection and the rest of the interior and what I think we could do is uh, when we unlock this tile right here we'll build a heavy rail interchange and what we'll do is we'll bring this line over That'll start to serve the island over here, not the island, but you know, like across the river basically. And what we can do is we can have this guy connect essentially over to here. And uh, we'll have another one break off this way, so two-way traffic over here. And then we'll have a third one just kind of connect over to um, the exterior line. And then what we'll do is we'll have another line coming up here that's just exterior traffic. So I'm getting way ahead of myself, so let's not worry about that just yet. Um, so super quick, what I was thinking, um, I'm just going to pause this, what I was thinking of doing is this area here, uh, you can see there's no one really working here, per se, so what I wanted to do was just get rid of this road, and we're going to relocate this building, which I should need this generator. Um, you know what, since it's a polluter and we're switching over to forestry, let's just keep moving these guys outward, which is fun and dandy, and what I want to do is you can kind of see, I was just staring earlier. The traffic, I mean, it's not bad, but if we look at just um, the map right here, this is starting to get a little bit, you can kind of see, busy. So what I want to do is just not create a bottleneck in this intersection with all the traffic having to go here to kind of cycle on and off the highway. What I want to do is create um, a tunnel that goes from here. Oh, I'm sure there's a way to do this. Okay, there we go. I want to have a tunnel that goes from here. I want this slant. There we go. Now I got the right slope. And I want that to come out over uh, onto this road, basically. Okay, so let's see if we can get this. I may have to make this go a little bit straight first. Or actually, you know what we could probably do is attach it to there. That's probably even better, to be honest. Okay, so I can't really bring it up too high just yet, because I'm going to break through the ground right here. But let's see if we can just now connect. Oh yeah, I can. I'm going to back this up ever so slightly, though. And then now we'll try that again. Yeah, that's really cool. Yes, actually, that's exactly what I'm after. And that way, you know, we just give one more area for traffic to kind of move on out to. I think that should help. And we'll, for fun, put another road just kind of winding through, just like this. There we go. 
and then we'll just kind of zone this back up. That way the area is filled in again. Looks like we're using the space a little bit more efficiently. I think traffic should ultimately flow better as well. So many bonuses to that. So that's what I wanted to do right there. And super, super quick, I want to throw in the um, purple bus line again. And just start us off over here as usual. All right. So we're going to stop at the train station. And we're going to make our way on the outskirts, just like the uh, previous route did. And we'll follow this up here. And the purple one, if you'll remember, went up and over that bridge. So what I want to do, though, just to be different, is we'll go inward like this. And then we're going to go like that. And then like this, just to be a little bit different. Because the more people we get using the bus, the less people we have driving. And that's a, that's a winning strategy for traffic, right? So instead of just going in, let's take the long way back. And we'll add a stop. Um, just over, I guess over here. That's a good spot. And then now we'll make our way back in. Or we could probably go this way, actually. Yep, I like this. This is looking pretty sharp. And we'll just finish that off. And we'll just color this one. And that was that nice rich purple we had. Cool stuff. Alright, so let's just three speed for two seconds. And let's just kind of see if anyone starts using this new area. I don't see why they wouldn't, though. Alright, let's see if some cars pop out here. I feel like we have to give it more time, because only two trucks have, uh, have driven in so far. And I don't know if they're going this way. I mean, in the grand scheme, we only have 50,000 people living in this city, so I'm not really expecting there to be, like, you know, waves of traffic in really any one spot, you know? But I, I feel like if we check on this over time, you know, this should be a little bit of, of an improvement overall. Alright, cool stuff. Let's just move over to the island and have some fun over there. I'm sure people will use this. Alright, now to make the custom train station, you gotta be a little bit. Um, I'll make sure I get the placement just right. So I'm gonna pause this. Just uh, make things a little bit easier as I'm building. Okay, now I'm gonna have to build it um, the top going in, I guess is the best way to describe that. Okay, so road going out. I need a gap of three. Oh, actually, you know what we'll do is we'll build it a little bit further out. Yeah, so here, let me... Let me do something different here. Let's just say from here. Okay. Ah, uh, this is just placeholder. You'll kind of see what's going on. So I need a gap of three. And then a gap of... I think it's two. It's either two or one. Alright, we'll try with one. I think we'll know right away if we've got it right or wrong. Alright, so custom train station. I think this is how it gets placed. Alright, so we'll go like this, put on M3, because M1 is the outside piece. So M3 to start. Alright, so locked and loaded. Let's put it as far back as we can. All right, now we delete the road. Now M2 should fit. Oh, yes. Okay. And then now... M1. Oh, cool. Okay, good. We did get the spacing right. Nice. All right, so we'll use the same road just to create our little... Access streets. Excellent. Alright. So now you can see we've got 
a way for three lines to uh, to come in. So we're gonna have to probably destroy some of these buildings or make some bridges up and over. But what I was thinking we could do is have this one kind of go out and just go this direction. And we can have this one go to here towards the main transportation hub. And then this one just be an outside rail connection. That way, you know, if you're on the island, you kind of have the option to really go anywhere in the city. So let's just start with a simpler one. Oh, and I, I kind of thought more about this. It would really require a lot of, um, I don't want to say effort, but it just we'd have to move basically everything if we wanted to um, connect from here uh, over to this guy. But there's no back entrance, unfortunately, so it'd be a little bit, um, I don't want to say pointless, but you know, it'd just be making a loop essentially to go into here. So we'll just kind of leave it as it is. I feel like it'll just be too much work for, for no real benefit type thing. But we will devote our effort to this guy over here. All right, now, what we could do, just so that this train station could hypothetically be used as well, is we could come out from, like, right here. Oh, but you know what, though? There's no way... Yeah, no, that's, that's not going to work, So we need to be able to get to that line over here. So it's going to have to be, I guess, from right here, so we can go right between these power lines. Alright, cool. Well, let's go in with a little bit of symmetry, actually. So let's try to try start over here first. Okay, so... Buildings will be lost. We know this already. That's no problem. And what I'm hoping is that this just lines up well enough that when I bridge over the street, we can kind of make, like, a nice little connection. 12? Oh my goodness, just please work. Yes! Oh, I think it's going to. Cool. Okay, so maybe I can round this then. Oh, I can't tell you how happy I am. Okay, cool. That is, yes, exactly what I'm after. Thank you, game. Perfect. Alright, now we'll just go over to the right. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm smiling so much right now. This is great. Here, I'm thinking this is going to be a challenge, right? Knock on wood. <laughs> Okay. Oh! Oh, that's great. Oh, that's also... Yeah, that looks really nice. And we didn't really change the elevation, so there's no, you know, little steep points here. The poor train, you can kind of see, has to... It's on the old uh, elevation snap points. But I feel like that's not necessarily the worst little dip right here. Let's just watch a train go over it. Yeah, no, that's not too extreme. I think we can handle that. All right, so now we can actually create a train line. Oh, you know what we could do? Okay, this will be cool. Let me just create this while I have it in my head. Um, so we're gonna go from transportation hub. So we'll start over on this side. Create new line. I'm worried though that we might start um, getting a little bit crowded over here. So, what we could do is obviously modify an existing line, because I can't really seem to get a new line in here. There we go. And this one will go here, 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 and then there, and then back. And then the other one will just go the other way, essentially. This is cool. So that's that line. Let's color this. And let's make these ones white trains. I like that idea. Cool. Alright, this is getting really fun. I like this. And then, oh, just a uh, asterisk. What I want to do is use the bus lanes or the, um, for our little transportation hub. And I'll have one like a little service road, just so that um, maybe we can do a little bit of um, commercial zoning inside, just so that we have some uh, variety to our buildings. Okay. Now let's just try and raise it up at, I guess, the same level, more or less, or same points. And... Ah, yes, we are getting caught on the road with our pillars. Okay, it is possible to do this again, so let's try from 
here to here. I think that should be enough space. Oh, I, yep. Yep, 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 yep. I see it now. Oh, that looks, oh, that looks so good. So good. Two of them next to each other like that. I like it. And then, so same idea. But we're just going off to the right. And I don't want it to be too steep. So let's just try and follow that same Y kind of opening. And I think we did. That looks okay to me. I like that. This is honestly really cool. And then so the third line, what I want to do with that one is we'll try and get some symmetry happening. Unfortunately, destroying so many buildings here, left, right, and center. Can I go this way? Oh, I can't. Oh, you know would be really cool? Oh, it is possible. I like this game, guys. I like it a lot. Um, it's not what I wanted to do, though. Okay, so I want to go like this, and I want to go like that. And then, this is what I wanted to do, connect to these guys. And, I sort of can. There. Oh, that's really cool. And then so now this train track, I would like to have run like that. There we go. And then this one, just connect like such. Oh, oh, come on. When you get close to the roads like this, the snap points kind of start getting a mind of their own. <laughs> Come on, don't you dare. Let me turn these off, actually. Yeah, that's not too... I was worried that was going to be a little bit too sharp. But I think that's acceptable. And so, we'll continue this feller. Keep that on. And then we'll just curve this last little bit in. Nice. I should really like that. And what we'll do is probably one more avenue, just so that the traffic coming in doesn't all just spill into this street instead of um, using the avenue. So hopefully we don't get too much uh, traffic down this uh, road like right here. And just continue this. And what we'll do is we'll bridge this now up and over. And perhaps we can actually go this way. I want to go so that we still, there we go, are like symmetrical with something, you know, so it doesn't look too out of, um, out of whack. Nice. Ooh, that's a little steep. So let's try and back this up a little bit. Now I heard a rumor um, that the um, Pillars mod, there might be an update or there's a different version of one out there right now. Or uh, not the Pillars, like the Fine Heights um, uh, mod, so I'm, I might investigate that. Or if you guys know, just uh, give me a heads up, s'il vous plaît. And with this, let's just go straight. And we'll just kind of leave this be for um, for placeholder. And hypothetically, since this is an exterior line, what we could do is have a break right here, even part of the junction actually over here, and we could bring a cargo line in to serve the industrial part right here. And then hypothetically, like an airport, maybe here or on this side. Or, because I remember, um, I, I did say originally, uh, a few of you pointed this out, that I did want to have the... Um, airport on the island, but since we are getting so many more um, tiles than I had originally thought, um, the options are like essentially like almost unlimited now, right? So what we could end up doing is just one of these two islands, we could make them into um, 
kind of like a airport transportation kind of thing. So we can do like ferries, um, so boats and that kind of stuff. And then we can bring some, uh, some trains or, or whatever we want over, or just like a highway or something. Or we can even do like bus only um, uh, bridges. So we just have so many options. We can have just a lot of fun. So think about that, guys. Let me know for for the airport. I know we've kind of talked about this in the past, but let's kind of let's roll up on the discussion. So uh, yeah, possible ideas, which I really think the best one would probably be one of these islands, or just kind of on you know this part of the little this little quadrant right here in the peninsula. But I think just for like the island, I think the density is going to be a little bit too tall. I mean, we could hypothetically still fit it in there, so I don't necessarily think I'm going to fill this part in just yet, so we can kind of keep the, uh, the thoughts going. Because I think the um, transportation hub, we can kind of make a cool one that's maybe a little bit angled, that kind of goes in this little spot right here. We'll see how that turns out, though. Oh, and then what I want to do is uh, do a little bit more park space on the island, and I want to, just for the next episode, um, I'm going to do a little bit of off-camera building, and by that I mean I'm just going to kind of maybe put some more parks in here and there. I'm going to name some of them after you fine folks. So definitely check out next episode and look for your name. And honestly, if I don't put your name down, like, please, like, honestly, don't at all in the least remote bit be offended. Like, it's just, like, it's not, like, there's so many. There's thousands of you now. It's so hard for me to pick, you know? So a few of you will get it, but just don't. It's not picking favorites. It just happened to see your name. You guys comment a lot. You're great. And I know so many of you, you comment, like, constantly almost in every single video, and it's been so long since I've responded, but, like, I still read them. I appreciate it so much. So don't feel like you're being left out, you know? So hopefully your name will pop up, and that'll, that'll make your day. And if you don't see your name, just hang tight. You know, obviously we got more more parks coming up. And, um, you know, I mean, I don't want to, you know, say make yourself stand out. But, you know, comment. You know, don't be a stranger. Don't be afraid to make your voice heard. And, you know, guys, we're obviously building this whole city together. So, I, I obviously, I love the feedback and suggestions just anyhow. So, you don't have to, have to do it for a park. But that's kind of a bonus, right? I just realized this is a little bit staggered. Um, it's unfortunate because these windows don't line up. But, like, from this perspective, I think it looks really nice. Just so we can kind of take a little bit of a closer look at this. So you can kind of see incoming uh, train traffic right here. Um, let's draw the other line out just before I forget to do that. Go with these giant asterisks <laughs> whenever I tell my stories and whatnot, right? Okay, so we can stop here. Stop there. And stop here. And then we'll just kind of take it on home. And then so this one white as well. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And so, uh, this one, just leave it as it is, because obviously we can't connect just yet. Um, I think we need 56,000 for our next unlock, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, 55. Oh, we're getting close. And then we get another tile, I think, after that, but we'll have to wait and see. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. City, it's getting big, guys. I like it like it a lot and we occupy so much space which is really cool so once this all gets kind of filled in like the population is easily going to double or triple and we still got to continue our work on um, small towns and we definitely got to finish this farming like you know so many of you hate this roundabout so let me just change this right now really quickly because it's not a real roundabout in the traditional sense like I, I, I totally get that I don't know what I was originally thinking so we'll just change this over to um, uh, we'll do one ways like this actually See how that kind of fares. That way we can kind of still keep those little buildings in the center right there too. That was I mean, a little bit nicer, right? Or what we could do, just to make it look a little bit more uh, rural, is we can just change these over to um, just the one ways like this. So let's actually do that. Oh, perhaps not. Oh, how interesting. Now that is something I, there's something new. I did not know about that before. I, I, okay. So that's cool. I hope we can use that again. The things you discover by accident. I like that. Okay, so let's throw the speed back on. And let's um, see if train traffic is a little bit hectic. And um, the reason why I'm pausing so often, guys, is um, there's a few mods I think I still have installed that are kind of a little bit um, laggy. So I've noticed my game is a little bit kind of, you know, not as smooth as it used to be. Especially when I zoom in and stuff, it gets a little, you know, my computer has to think for a few seconds first. And then everything kind of smooths out. That's only when I'm recording, though. So, you know, I like to have my settings nice and high. 
maniac in that sense. Well, I think that white train might be coming from uh, from the island. Oh yes, look at that, guys! Cool stuff. And I think this is really neat the way this is kind of goes up and over like that. Especially if this fills back in. We can even put one more set of offices just like right there, you know? Cool stuff. Very, very cool stuff. Alright, so I'll just pause again so we can build without having to worry about any of this lag or any of that frame rate drop. And, um, like, I don't, I really don't know what to do with that because I'm actually, I've, I've looked at a few different posts about um, people making those kind of comments. It's like when I'm far away from the city, like, there's obviously no issues, right? Just when I get up close and personal, I just feel like with everything I have and all the assets, oh my goodness. Um, so, I'm going on so many asterisks here. Um, and, and like a little side trains of thoughts. But, if you guys are curious to see all the assets that I am using, what I did is I compiled the list um, for um, the speed build video. And so if you click on that, there's a link to download that map. Within the map, I have a list of all the mods I currently have active. And the list is so big, and I really don't recommend downloading it unless your computer can like super handle it. Um, what am I doing here? Two-way traffic? Yeah, okay, good. So I want to just bring um, a two-way lane in. That's going to be like kind of our back service road for the transportation hub. And then from that, actually, you know what we could do is, um, oh, this is so pretty. One way, that's awesome. This uh, mod just got updated. I was kind of hoping, though, that there'd be a blend, but I guess we don't get that for the smaller streets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to um, the six laners because they've got the uh, the mix between um, the bus lanes and the um, regular lanes. It's a shame, though, I can't do it on a four. I think like, the six is a little bit wide, but I've got no choice. Okay, so let's go in. Let's see, I'll just pause just for the smoothness aspect. Oh, I go 130 degrees? I think that's what I want for... What do I want here as an angle? 131? Is that my angle right here to make it perfect? I'm aiming for it. Okay, I'm going for that. Alright. Now, what we could do is um, not... I want to say like a roundabout. What we could do is a giant kind of circle. Here, I'll show you what I mean here. I, yeah, I think we're going to try this. Okay, so I may have to redo these power lines. So let's just go to say right about here. Okay. So I would need now... Because I wouldn't... I want to keep the inside part of the bus space or the bus um, lanes um, solely bus traffic. Like no, um, no regular cars. So let's go in like this. And then let's just go back like that. But what I would like is regular road going up next to here. So we'll just switch over. Oh, perfect. And I would even accept a crossing right here. Just for the visual sake of it. Um, we'll have to keep an eye on it though, because hypothetically, given that this is an external line, it might just get swamped with um, trains. So this could always um, end up being a little bridge over. But I would like to have just a, another way for traffic to kind of make their way through just this part over here. And then so you can kind of see mixed use zoning over here. We'll continue this six lane out and we'll reconnect, say, over to this guy, maybe at this intersection point. Actually, let's do that right now. That sounds like a really good idea. Whoa, that looks so cool. It's be perfect. Oh, I'm so excited. This should be a nice little gentle curve downhill. Oh, I wish it was just a little bit. There we go. Okay. I feel like that probably could have been a little bit smoother. Maybe if I draw that out a little bit longer, that'll that'll make the uh, necessary fix. The reason why I don't like that though is it kind of distorts the road a bit here. Okay, so let's try from this way. Yeah, that's the win. 
We have one. I love it. Okay. Back over to here. So, curve this like that. And then, oh. what I'm looking to do is have this guy run alongside here. That way we can get a little bit of shops in.